What up YouTube, this is your boy Lago, one half fine duo. I'm basically calling this drive time. I'm gonna do trying to do a quick little update about news of this week. I saw that um Ratchet and Clank came out, gave good reviews. Me, I'm gonna play the game at my cousin's house. It's one of the games that um that Sony has that I would love to buy the console for, but that's one. I need more than one. I need ten 10 games at the, at the minimum at the most. Same thing I did with PlayStation 1, 2, Dreamcast. I just need more games. So I could buy it. But that's me. But I'm, uh, like I said, I'm seeing people liking it. And uh, okay, that's getting and playing it and enjoying the game. And like I said, I know what the original one was. So I'm gonna, gonna go to my cousin's house. I'm gonna go over there, chill, and play some Watching and Crank. So anybody who's buying it, the PlayStation 4 and have a Watching and Crank, you like that game, big ups to you guys, man. Enjoying it. Love those exclusives. Um, so this morning, Terminator Juice had a podcast, you know, a little mini podcast, like an NKS like, like me, like talking about who's um, telling you not to be excited for the NX. You know, I, I, I'll just some of the stuff here. Like, I understand where he's coming from. Nobody really says that, but you see, the humankind just gets antsy over a lot of things. So to see these, because um, I've seen a lot of people who never bought the Wii U. But don't like Nintendo games, but then want the NX to be this mighty god um, console. I, I, that, and I know they're not going to buy it, so it's, that's a weird conundrum. And then you have other people who buy the console feel ah, because it, it's not doing exactly like the other consoles. Uh, what? Really? Okay. That's their opinion too. For me, I can't get excited over something I don't know. And the thing about it is like, I know more about the next home console because I don't know what the NX is, than the next count, than the NX. So, I'm not worried. As long as you could do one thing and one thing only. Can you play video games? Yes. Good. As I said in my last video, in uh, one of my uh, video, I don't give a damn about the features. Can you play a video game? That's all it is. I could, all the other stuff I could do with my phone, my computer, everything else for me. Me, me, me. I'm talking about. But I'm not, I, I'm not a jerk that if they want to, um, how should I say? If somebody wants to wants those features, hey, yeah, go ahead. If that's what makes you enhance your gameplay, whatever. Cause again, I'm different because I am not a multi online multiplayer game. I'm not a multiplayer person. This is local co-op and local multiplayer. Everything is solo. So I am the I'm the gnome, I'm the I'm the weirdo from everybody else. So I accepted that. But I don't care as long as you play games. Cause like right now, I have not downloaded me me um Mitomo. Everybody else, most people I've seen hasn't. And then, like I said, it's not, phone, most phone things are not my thing really. But here's, and I saw this thing on my Nintendo news. God, I hate rumor sites. Let's, let, let's, let, they say, oh, well, the, the, the app has dropped down, has dropped. They said that the app has, um, the Mitomo has dropped drastically from um, drop drastically from um, Android and uh, iOS. Android and iOS. Now, I read the article. I might have read it wrong. I'll double check it. Uh, I can say, if I'm wrong, please put it in the comment section below because I, 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 I watched it. I read it. I read it. I'll, I'll be honest. I haven't read it all the way through, but I read most of it. And I was like, of course it's going to drop off. The, the thing just came out, just like any game. It goes up, then it drops off. And also, once you get it to, as a free app, ain't like you're buying, I mean, technically speaking, it's a free app, you gotta, I mean, you gotta buy stuff on there. Hey, again, that's a, I, I don't know because I don't have the app. But, eh, it's an app, just get it. If you don't like it, you don't gotta get it. And if it's dropping off, then it's dropping off. But according to what I'm seeing, it's like it's dropping off not by usage. If you're dropping off by usage, then I understand. But if you're dropping off because not much people are not downloading the app, it's already past four million. What the hell do you want to do? That's just weird. But that's why I don't like rumor sites. I really don't. Anyway, I put up a something. I also put up a uh, on my um, on my Google Plus today account about. Uh, PlayStation, former PlayStation, head of PlayStation, um, saying, I forgot his name off the top of my head because I'm driving, so, and he was saying about, you know, p gamers didn't want, um, they didn't want backwards capability for the PlayStation 4, well, 
again, I, you 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 are kind of right if you if you kind of right if the eighth gen was going the way it was going, but you still play remasters or whatever, and then of course Sony found a way to milk the money, so they got the money. Now, if that's uh, that's if that's supposed to be co consumer base, it's consumer base is that I have all these games on my last console that I could play on my new console. That's consumer friendly. As a certain person say that, oh, that's not you know they need to be more consumer friendly. To, a, to another company but again they don't know what they're talking about when they say that stuff but it is one of those things where it's one of those things where if you know if if the 8th gen was good and we had great games coming out exclusives everything coming out no broken whatever then he would have been right but again, you see people comment on the, on that Google Plus account. You go, yeah, check it out. They also, it's from basically the articles from Forbes, and I have to give it up to the author Oli uh, Oli who said at the end, "Yeah, you know, you, your premise is right, except for the exact same thing that I'm just pointing out." So, shout outs to that dude for um, uh, um, uh, author that keeps the article, uh, you know, at least 100% correct. And oh, and the last two things I want to put up is this. Is um is this one? It would be dang it. I'm trying to figure it out right now. Oh yeah, back to um two things on Nintendo. Like I said, Tommy the Juice have it on on his podcast this morning. Um, one, the reason why it a lot of people are getting this wrong too. There's two things people are getting wrong. One, Star Fox. All right. It that Star Fox was Star Fox is basically Nintendo. I, I look, I, I give I give props when props do, and everybody's like, oh, Platinum. No, Platinum just did the grunt work, which is good. They did the grunt work and they helped do with some of the um the the um the double screen thing, but the idea, the concept, the bosses, everything was Miyamoto and his EAD team. Sorry, I give Nintendo their props. I don't know why we, we keep on switching both ways, and then. The last thing I will say is the um, the the, uh, coming, the the two divisions coming in the handheld, and the, the handheld and the the home console. The reason they, the major reason why they came together was not because they're gonna make this awesome system. They came together because of simple logistics. Uh, we have a, we have a new building that could house all uh, the main the main heads of the second parties and put all our first party in a new building instead of paying different places all over the place. That's what it is. Sorry, that's why they did it. I have why would I have all my stuff spread over when I could put it all in one building? And then we could have and people uh, in one building and people can talk. Developers could talk with each other and maybe came up with some good ideas like how Nintendo does in their um in their pitch meetings and stuff, which is I'm mean, telling you man, I, I wish I could record some of those pitch meetings. It is one of the most exciting things you ever seen. How these guys come up with these games and have fun doing it too. But Sorry, that's what they did it for. They did that just so they could um They did that just so they could um what do you call it? Just so they could um you know put everything on the one building. Sorry for the keep on arming, but put everything on the one building. That's what it that's what they do. So with that said, just I don't I don't I don't think like I said I I understand where Terminator Juice is coming from and I understand what people are saying certain things too. I say tap down expectation because the problem is you see people expectations is so high that when they when they when they don't do the expectation uh, expectation doesn't come they don't blame themselves they don't fall in an crest they blame the company for like for what. Because I don't see Nintendo giving any information. All the stuff has been rumors. Rumors, 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 rumors. That's it. Just rumors. So, if you listen to all these rumors and then you think, Oh, well, this is going to have the AMD whatever 15.5 chicks. You have 120 gigahertz RAM and all. And if all that happens, that would be all cool. But, again... Does it does does it do something to make to play the games? Does the console play the games? Yes, that's all I care about. But if it doesn't have that stuff, 
whose fault is whose crest should be falling? The people who think that, but they're not gonna blame themselves. They're gonna, what they're gonna do is gonna what? Blame Nintendo. Hey, same thing happened for Sony and Microsoft. So I don't get that. But anyway, as I said, I will catch y'all on the flip side. This was a little quick little video. I'm trying to go to my friend's house right now. And I'll catch y'all on the flip side. Remember, there's no perfect games out there. What's perfect is not perfect for me. What's perfect for me is not perfect for you. Simply play them games.